you just released your new single, Self Love Rebellion. Is that correct? You are so correct. So I, I was going through a lot of growing pains. Needless to say, when when that song was written, um, high school was it was like it was fun, but it was it was tough. Like I, being an artist too, I, I felt things very deeply. So and, and in those natural growing pains, they were very painful. <laughs> so that kind of that song came from talking about. And experiencing hitting rock bottom, whatever that looks like for you, but rising above. Hey guys, and you're watching Spill It. It's the show that gives you a glimpse into the performer's mindset and reveals the person behind the persona. Before we get started, I want to shine the spotlight on Music Cares. Music Cares provides a safety net of critical assistance for music people in times of need. The pandemic has left millions of workers across countless industries jobless. You can help. Check out musiccares.com for more information. If you can, give. And if you need help, reach out. And now we're getting in the groove, because in this episode, we've got Audrey Collins. Audrey Collins is a singer slash songwriter originally from the Pacific Northwest, who is now making some noise in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. Performing and writing music has taken Audrey on a profound journey of discovery and self-acceptance as she continues to grow her name in the country music industry. If you've wanted to explore the world of country music from a musician's point of view, and you're ready to raise your vibrations, then this is the episode for you. Audrey, thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, Kaya. It's been a long time coming for this to happen. We've been, like, talking about this for a while, and I'm yes. glad it's coming to fruition. So this is awesome. Cool. I've been looking forward to having you on the show since the day that we decided that Spill It needed to happen. You were actually one of the first people I thought of. I still remember when I saw that you had liked one of my posts on Instagram about a year ago and then you gave me a little shout out. Your song, Like to Drive, put a smile on my face and I created a nunchuck freestyle video to it. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Before we start talking music, I'd love to learn more about you, your story, and your martial arts. Could you tell us a bit about that? You know what's funny is, so I'm the youngest of three. Growing up, I did what brother and sister did. Taekwondo was one of those things. It was hard. I, I was getting to that point where I was like, you know what, I really want to like hang out with my friends, try something new. But the one thing about that all was that my parents, which I totally stand by this notion, was like, no, you got to finish what you started. Rather be on that end of that mentality than Definitely. like when things get tough kind of bow out you know what i'm saying so know yourself and if you can persevere of persevere. course here got my black belt i was 12. but what overall was your favorite part of martial arts the respect and the like yeah. dedication that yeah it's it, there's no there's no sport like it at all so yeah uh, i think the uniqueness for sure and just the dedication that i know a lot of people have to go through well and uh, that's also one of my favorite parts is just so many life skills that you learn through martial arts. Yes. You put it all in a nutshell right there, girl. I was like... <laughs> and have you always been interested in music? I have always been interested in music. Definitely country, country music and classic rock. And I was very attracted to music that had full instrumentation, told a story, you belted it, you, you really sung it out. And I found mm -hmm. a lot of that in country music, um, at least with the artists I listened to, like Martine McBride and Faith Hill and um, Brooks and Dunn. It was a lot of full, authentic stuff, you know, so. And that's the cool thing about music is that it can be applied to everything. Exactly. Speaking, running, crying, um, <laughs> you know, struggling and having the best time. Like, so I think it's just, it's so, it's universal. That's the really cool thing about it, so. That's a really good describing word for music. And that's why Taylor Swift can, you know, perform all around the world, because they just love her, and I do too, so. Shout out, Taylor. <laughs> I wrote my first song in eighth grade. It will never be shared. No, I'm just kidding. It's so not worth it. <laughs> you get better as you do it more. Yeah, so. Of course. And it's funny that you mentioned that a lot of your inspiration kind of comes when you're out in nature. Because yeah. I've been looking at a lot of your music videos, and a lot of them are out in nature, on the beach, or in the forest. And with Like to Drive, you were in the car driving. 
a lot of things came into play even now of how how do we do this this thing we call music so <laughs> I'm glad you liked that little video <laughs> like to drive that's funny but I agree like it's it's all about the lighting too a lot of the times the nature of that helps with music videos but I didn't think about that they are all up in like, <laughs> outside hmm. I'm learning something new about myself thanks girl <laughs> Well, you're welcome. And has your musical journey had a deliberate direction or has it kind of been evolving organically? Oh, man. That is a really, really good question. I think, I mean, like yourself, like you're very dedicated, you're very hardworking, you're going to make things happen. And a lot of what I found is um, the more I tried to be like a lot more in control, the more out of control I was with things, especially the create creative things, you know, mm -hmm. it can be stumbling and uh, at times. Yeah. So it's evolved organically, but I've since have direction, so. Mm -hmm. And it's important to know kind of what your goals are and where you want to be, but it's also important to go with the flow and not be incredibly concerned on sticking to exactly what you want to do, exactly when you want to do it. Exactly. Nutshelled that very beautifully. So, yeah. Yeah, Thank well, you. especially, man, I swear, with, with the world, it's like, you've got to be able to, to adapt, in a sense. And, mm -hmm. and that's where I feel like you find who you truly are, you know, is, is how you've reacted to life. Exactly. You know? So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I really love about the pandemic is how it's given us all a chance to take a step back, look back at what we've done and what we want to do, and also just reflect on ourselves and what we can do better and just make little changes like that. Oh, so true. So true. And um, yeah, to remind yourself, if you are someone who's a go getter to uh, take a breather and know it's OK to take a breather, mm -hmm. you know, don't stress, don't stress too much. Exactly. Also, yeah. what I can add to that is don't overthink it. Right. <laughs> yeah. When you almost have so much free time, it's hard to get things done. Like, there's a lot to say for being yeah, self-motivated. <laughs> for me, there's a lot that I absolutely have to get done. But you've also mentioned that not being able to perform live has kind of took a little bit of a toll on the entertainment industry and your personal career. How are you really feeling about not being able to do live performances? You know, that has been probably the hardest thing for me to like wrap my head around. That was my dream as a kid was to be up on stage and connect mm -hmm. with the audience and just sing my lungs out and um, and hope that it reached and touched someone. So also that means I've had to like work on the things I'm maybe not as strong at, but still, I still enjoy, but they're just not as strong like songwriting or figuring out, you know, inter internet presence. I'm like a grandma <laughs> sometimes when it comes to technology. So I've had this time um, and I'm trying to use that time to get better at those other things, so. When you have an idea or you see something you really like, write it down or text it to yourself. Yeah. When you forget to do that, and I'm talking from personal experience, then you're like, oh, I had such a great idea or I saw something really amazing. But then- No, literally, the idea left, it's gone. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, actually, no, seriously, when I do that too, when it comes to melody, if there's no lyric. When you create music, what's your personal purpose or goal? First, when I started creating, it was about getting my own, my own emotions down, you know, like in, like an outlet in a sense, yeah. for sure, big outlet. And there's a lot of different ways to live life in, in your outlets, you know, and so that was my main one. I'm, I'm super interested in the way people think because I'm all about connecting with people so I hope they hear themselves and yeah. can relate to the message because that's what I have found great artists can do for for me you know yeah. we all need love and validation and knowing that I'm being validated and you're being validated it's a great it's mm -hmm. it's beautiful. I'm inspired from like other people doing what they love. It's like from other people doing their passion, like seeing you girl, like doing your thing. I'm like, shoot, I want to, I'm inspired to like dive deeper into my, my purpose. You know, what are the possibilities? Especially when creativity, you, you can't force it. You got to show up, but you can't force it all the time. And that's just life, you know, so, and I think it's so applicable to today, even like with all of our own. Especially today. Especially today, um, gosh, in, 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 in all realms of um, 
pandemic or political or natural disasters, everything, we're all, we're all trying to find connection and it, and how important it is that it start with self. And now here's the big question. Okay. Where can we listen to it? You can find Self Love Rebellion on all music platforms. So you can find it on Apple Music. You can find it, I think iTunes, that's the same thing. Um, Amazon Music, you can find it on Spotify. You can find it on my website, audreycollinsmusic.com. That um, has gone through a whole revamp itself. Um, I'm so happy with with where I'm at right now and the trajectory of of what I'm trying to deliver, you know, message-wise and connectivity-wise, because that's really what it's about for me is, is finding connection with self and others, you know, to be the best version that I can be, so. And it's really important to find that connection within yourself to something you really love. Yeah, no, it it, it is. And, um, and like, and until you like know, know that, in my opinion and experience, it's hard to then authentically share that with others, you know. Mm-hmm. You gotta start from, from the inside and, and ripple effect out, there we go. Cause then it just, it'll get easier to deal with what life throws at you when you can know yourself and be like, yes, I can handle that. That's, or that's too much for me. I need to like bow out for a sec, you know, so really get to know where your, where your boundaries are and and your limits. So that's so true. Yeah. And that's all the time we have. But before we go, do you have any final words of wisdom you'd like to leave our audience with? Drink water, (laughs) take a couple deep breaths. Be grateful, you know, really see the good around you, you know, be observant. But um, also, yeah, take take care of yourself right now. Realize that it's a tough time and we're all we're all in it to get together. Don't you love that? Isn't that oversaid? But it's true. And once we're off air, where can our viewers find you? You can find me on Instagram, Audrey Collins Music, Facebook, Audrey Collins Music, website AudreyCollinsMusic.com, and on YouTube, actually. Sorry, Audrey Collins Music. I keep it very simple. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being ready to spill it with us, Audrey. Thank you, Akaya. That was so much fun. (laughs) This week's episode has come to an end, but the fun doesn't have to end here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head on over to our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Like, share, and get involved. Until next time, stay awesome, stay driven, and always be ready to spill it. Kaya, out.